Hi everyone. In today's video, I want to show you what I've done for these two days. I installed on this PC Proxmox yesterday. Also, I installed a couple of virtual machines for testing and also I installed PFSense. Everything works so far. So, so far so good. And uh, today I installed PyHall and also I tested this. Right now you can see for example, this dashboard by hole, which I which I'm using right now. Also, I connected through my PFSense through my new local like uh, area network, which I'm gonna use for test months, maybe a couple of months. I don't know, maybe less. Then I'm then uh, as I said in previous video, I wanna switch from ISPs router to my own router and also set up my home network for myself for my family all right maybe i should explain you a bit how it works in general what i have in this video as well here for example i have these two nicks connected to pf sense this is um, uh, this one that's one interface this is a lan interface this one uh, goes to directly to uh, linux uh, uh, linux mint virtual machine but uh, in future i am gonna virtually reconnect to the lan interface as well to the same system maybe just for testing uh, we'll see this is just temporary just for test here on this side you can see this uh, switch which has connection to my ISP home uh, network and then also this one this switch smaller one has connection LAN connection this is for a new LAN connection it has right now also has connection to my PC my main PC and I'm gonna use this like day-to-day day-to-day -day tasks it works perfect right now for me after today's testing but okay Let's go. I'll explain you what I've done. Works. Yes, everything works. Okay. Right now, you can see like dashboard from PyHall. PyHall right now works uh, for me in my LAN like a DNS server. PyHall has connection to the Quad9 server, 9.9.9.9. .9 it has uh, IP address uh, from my... Uh, it has DH, no, it has static IP address. I configured static IP address 1.2, 1.1. It's for PFSense right now, right here. You can see this PFSense. Right now, PFSense also uses like a DHCP server, main DHCP server, my pie hole. And um, what I did as well here, this list. I added all of these lists from GitHub, from also different lists to block all of different ads. This is my first installation. I have to search maybe more information, combine and uh, set up how it works. But right now I want to show you how it works right now, right here. Ah, here you can see this is my PFSense. Okay, we can open. Here is PFSense just directly from my browser tab and PyHall from this place. You can see all of this configuration, how it works and which benefits we have from this place. I want to show you, for example, what I used to use speed. First, maybe speed test. It shows like I have slower connection with uh, all of this setup through this network. For example, this laptop, I want to show you this laptop, maybe, nope, not on this place. This laptop has connection, just direct connection to my home network right now. I want to show you this. 
but you can also see these ads everywhere on this place here 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 and at the bottom also and here but speed is faster go for example right now at the same time almost it has 140 megabit per second but through all of my setup through pf sense and um, by hole i have 92 right now download speed okay 133 doesn't matter okay go ahead to next step next step benefits <laughs> from this here for example i used to use this website when i was studying for when i was preparing for ccna certificate here you can see this clean website without any ads you don't see anything i am gonna reconnect maybe to show you just reconnect to my home network to isp providers like router this and then i am gonna just reconnect cable from my main laptop okay we have connection right now i have to check ip address first do i have it new here yeah, home yes you can see right now right here my preferred ip address is from my home network this is default gateway and here is default gateway also serves like a D dns and right now if i refresh this page but even without refreshing <laughs> you could see this and and voila one two three four just half of place free space here you can see this ads without without using by hole and it's that's even haven't downloaded yet you can see here every time something new some new ads and my laptop doesn't like it i don't know maybe you can't hear this noise fence noise but cpu i think works quite fast right now memory not so much okay cpu also we can see microsoft edge seven eight percent five percent okay let's change it back disconnect from home network and connect to my new home lan network then just refresh this page dns server for me right, right now it's my pi hole server here is my new ip ipv4 address 105 why 105 because uh, pfsense default has like 100 excluded ip addresses and this one was last one which i connected before i connected linux mint windows 10 something else i don't remember but okay just refresh this stop refreshing and refresh it again you could see it everything disappeared just for one click nothing is here even this was empty and whole site page is empty it works perfect and amazing i like it i'm gonna use in my day-to-day -day life okay ah, and uh, i wanted to also tell you about download speed like speed test it's okay but also i try to download two isos you can see here for example linux mint i try to download and also ubuntu i try to download ubuntu iso file from this place for ubuntu like it works even through the pfsense and pi hole it works like uh, faster almost twice maybe 30 percent faster for linux mint for this one 
I try it from this server download this, it works vice versa, 30% slower through the, all of this configuration here. But for me, it's okay. And in future video, maybe I will tell you more about this, how it works. Right now, everything is okay. And I'm gonna do like next, next what I'm gonna set up. I am gonna set up this one. Access point, this one exactly, it's quite old one. Linksus something from something from cisco also i'm gonna connect this for cable to my lan switch physics switch set up all of this stuff this one can handle 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz and uh, but not simultaneously you, you have to choose which one 5 or 2.4 but for testing it's okay in future i am gonna buy another one for my home network and also I'm gonna use separate router PF sense I mean maybe also by hole we will see about future setup I have to search like gather more information about this because right now it's like for me second day when I use this Proxmox also PF sense in my course we learned about PF sense a bit but that time like I couldn't understand anything how it works. Now I have a bit more knowledge after CCNA and also HomeKey Security Plus, Microsoft Azure fundamentals. It's really interesting. Everyone have, have to do it. Okay, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.